Travis with Diesel Laptops here. Today we're going to do a general overview of a case tractor. We're going to be using the Kajali Jaw Test agricultural software, which does a really good job at any of the agricultural equipment. So we're just going to choose a manufacturer, break it down by our series here on the left, and then find our actual machine. Once we click this, you see several different modules, but what we want to do is a system scan, so it'll actually tell us what's on the machine. Let me fast forwarded this section here, um, just because it does take a minute or two there to scan for all of them. We want to go in here and look at functionality. So you can click this, that'll actually show you your fault codes, or you can actually come down here and directly connect to whatever it is, double clicking. So we're going to actually get into the engine ECM. We do need to know whether it's SCR and DPF or just SCR. Just click your check mark from there, and it'll get connected to that ECM. Once we're connected, in our menus here, we can read fault codes, clear fault codes. And we'll start with the read fault codes here. We'll go ahead and click that. There are none in there right now, um, so we can close that out. System data, it's basically just going to give us ECU data, some operational data, so you can actually come back here, see, you know, operating lengths of time, things like that. ECU data is just basically going to tell you what it is you're connected to. See some minimum and maximum register values here. Just a couple little parameters there of the all-time highest and lowest. And back out of that, again, you can clear those fault codes. Live data, you can come in here and do the selection and just look through it this way. So we'll select all, click our magnifying glass, and then we'll actually just scroll page by page on this one. Go ahead and crank it up for you so you can see changes here on this. Just arrow over. I'm just going to go through them super quick here. Page 9. Okay. Once we're done there, go ahead, click our check mark, bring ourselves back, back out one more time. You also have some system displays built into this tool. So this is really helpful. This just get, basically gives you a pictorial view of how the system works, but also gives you that live data there. You've got a few different ones here. You can see three different dashboards. We'll scroll over to the third one, and then we'll actually go on back to that first one there that we skipped. So you've got your fuel system. Okay. Click our back button. Brings us back out. Anything you see actuate components, this is going to be tests you can come in here and run. So you see your actuator for your turbo, cylinder cutouts, um, metering valve down there for your diff. All kinds of different tests in here. Any of these you want to come in here and run, if you click the check mark, they let you know whether you've met the conditions beforehand as well, which is really helpful. Under maintenance, you see you can actually force a regen and clear your D-rate through that startup counter restart. All right. And if you need to replace some components, we've got a few different options in there as well, like PRV resets and things. Uh, we'll disconnect from this and We'll scroll on down here. We actually want to look at the hitch um, just to show you that this tool does do more than just engine. Let's so come in here to the calibration. You have that lift calibration in here in the software. Um, we'll go ahead, disconnect from that, and go down here to our suspension. Okay, and again, you see here you've got calibrations for your front suspension as well. And you just choose whichever transmission you've got there. Click your accept button, and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. All right, I'm gonna back on out, show you a few more things here with the tool. So, lastly, we're gonna talk about the transmission. Get ourselves connected here, and you'll see there's actually a calibration for the transmission in the software as well. Again guys, the software works really well on farming applications and would definitely quickly pay for itself. Thank you for watching.